Assalamu alaikum, may peace, mercy and blessing be on all of you. This is Milona Ahmed. I am an English learner. Today I am gonna talk about how to start speaking as a beginner. So this video it's gonna be an interesting video. So let's start that how to start speaking. So first of all if you want to start speaking in a, any particular language then you need to know that vocabularies because without having vocabulary you can't speak any different language so first of all we have to know that vocabularies so actually in my country in everywhere you will get huge number of people they actually know huge number of vocabularies in my background you can see some books there is a globe you can see a whiteboard that means actually you know all of this in english so we have already known huge number of vocabularies but the problem is we cannot make sentence that's actually a problem i think and this is a great problem in my perspective because we can't make sentence but we know huge number of vocabularies but we can't make sentence so then how can we start and how can we learn vocabularies so first of all we have to know that how can we learn vocabularies how can we speak fluently so in this video i'm gonna talk about in detail that how can you start your speaking as a beginner most so, of the cases if we want to learn speak that time we start our speaking like searching on google or youtube that how to learn speak even we try to study vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, we buy books, but unfortunately after studying a lot of things, but we can't speak. We don't try actually what should we do. That is the problem. We don't even try to speak something. That is the problem. If you want to learn speak, then you have to speak. I'm always saying to the audience, to my students or any other I can say. So I'm also saying them that if you want to learn swimming, then you have to go to the water or you have to jump the water. So without jumping the water, how can you learn swimming? So if you want to learn speaking, then you have to speak. You have to speak and you have to speak. So first of all, you have to start speaking then you should go another things then then you can say like i don't have enough vocabularies i don't have enough knowledge about english so how can i start so there is a solution i have i will say first of all you have to know that actually if you want to learn english then you have to know four skills first of all listening speaking reading and writing so we have to start from listening then speaking and reading and the last thing is writing actually we are making mistake we started our english learning journey by reading so first of all we start reading and then writing and then speak that is actually the wrong order to learn english first of all we have to start listening speaking reading and then writing so i will discuss about listening writing uh, speaking how to start but first of all you have to start speaking so then you will ask me that how can i start so let me clarify actually we know some common sentences like how are you i'm fine what about you what is your name there are lot of common sentences common vocabularies that we are using in our daily life so you can start that like how are you i'm fine what about you what is your name how old are you so these types of common sentence you can start as a beginner so after practicing this common sentence then you should to start new sentence by listening speaking and reading from different sources so you can start and then uh, when you try to speak something that time you need a speaking partner because without a speaking partner someone will give you advice then you can start with uh, in front of mirror sometimes we will say that you can start speaking uh, in your mind that means so uh, it could be sometimes boring you don't feel well so that's why i would like to suggest you that 
uh, if you have a smartphone then it's a great opportunity for you then you can start speaking with chat gpt it has a great feature you can speak with chat gpt so you can also speak with open talk hello talk different types of application right now available so if you just study on it like youtube and google then you will find huge number of apps and also application so you have to find out the speaking partner so it would be like you can speak with some speaking partner like your friend using uh, messenger whatsapp so different different application you can use to speak with your speaking partner or if you have the physical speaking partner like your friends your family members it's, it could be better so that means uh, you have to find out a speaking partner to speak long time okay and then you have to make an english friendly environment that means this atmosphere should be in english so how can you make this environment in your surroundings or in your i can give some example that how can you make your environment english friendly so english friendly environment what does it mean actually so english friendly environment that means you have to remain an environment that environment should be english friendly like uh, when you speak then you need a friend or a speaking partner or you can speak in your mind or anywhere you can speak but when you listen that means uh, when you get free that time you have to listen when you get free then you can start speaking you can start reading so uh, like you can read newspaper if you can scroll your facebook and when you use facebook actually we all are using different types of social media so when you use social media then you can just like those english friendly page english friendly youtube channel etc even use so english friendly news or anything you should to subscribe or like because if you like that or if you watch these types of video that means you will get all time these types of video that means your social media or your smartphone you can use to make your environment english friendly so when you use social media that time you should to like it and you should to watch these types of video so you will get this types of video all time so uh, in your social media time you can speak you can practice english so that time will be english friendly sometimes we are visiting on place to another place in the vehicle that time you can also start reading newspaper or magazines or any article whatever you can start even if you have some board book like a uh, textbook you can start this textbook because you will get different different idea concept or huge types of different sentence that you can use your daily conversation so it will be great opportunity for you if you start and you can make your environment so there is a huge number of ways that you can start you can make your environment english friendly listening is a great part of learning english so if you want to be a good speaker then you have to listen more and more so how can you start listening so in my point of view i can say like as a beginner don't try to watch videos from bbc al jazeera cnn because they are using advanced vocabulary even they have used huge number of advanced sentence advanced concept idea even their pronunciation is different as a beginner it could be very difficult to understand that what they are saying because actually they are fluent speaker the native speakers so they can speak so fast but as a beginner we can't understand that what they are saying so you have to start with easy medium easy resources like you can start with some uh, in your country's speaker you can start with listening them you can start your listening by listening dr jakin naik noman ali khan mufti meng there are huge number of speakers are available you can start from them after getting a certain level of speaking then you should to go al jazeera bbc cnn etc so you can start listening from them so i hope you understand that actually how can we start listening next you have to think in english that means what does it mean that you have to think in english think in english means don't try to translate from your native language because if we try to translate from a native language that time we need huge time to think and how to translate 
we don't need to translate from native language so you have to think in english that what you are speaking what you want to speak so you have to think in english so if you try to translate from your native language then you need time that means that is actually time consuming thing so you know that if you want to speak that time you have to speak and you have to deliver the sentence one by one so if you need time to think that time you can't deliver sentence one by one so that time you are actually getting frustrated and you won't be able to speak fast and fluent that's why you have to think in english and the next tips it's a very very important tips because don't think about mistakes because making mistake in terms of speaking is a common thing we all are making mistakes even still i'm making mistakes so it's a normal thing everyone making mistake if you want to learn new language that time we are actually making mistake it's a common thing it's a normal so don't think about mistakes don't care about mistakes but focus on practicing focused on how to think focus on how to listen don't think about mistakes because making mistake is a common thing next tips actually you have to learn vocabularies you have to learn grammar so start learning grammar and different grammar and how to make sentence there are five kinds of sentence like assertive imperative interrogative optative exclamatory so you have to know the basic structures of these sentences of these types of sentences so after learning all of things then you have to revise you have to repeat all types of vocabularies all types of grammar that you have already learned so you have to revise and you have to revise within a particular time that means after a certain time you have to revise that it could be like after two days or three days it could be in a single day of a week you can also just revise your vocabularies your grammars that means how many things you have learned so you can just repeat or revise all of items that you have learned so because actually we are human being we are making mistakes we are also forgetting all of things because it's actually a common thing to forget and to make mistake so don't care about it just practice and focus and be consistent it could be better if you can read and write if you start reading then you can get huge knowledge and sentence idea that how to make sentence and different types of sentence you will get if you just start reading and after practicing all of things just try to write down something that how many things have you learned today it's a very good idea to learn english by writing because if you write something that time it will very easy to memorize after writing you can store your knowledge in your brain for long time so you have to write you have to write if you want to be a good speaker so it's a very important thing that you have to write eventually i can say that after learning all of things after practicing all of things you have to be confident consistent and you have to be patient about it basically learning english is a great journey is a lifelong journey or i can say like it's a long journey because regular practicing will help you to be consistent to be fluent because without practicing regularly you will lost your fluency because actually our surroundings is not english friendly we all are speaking our native language so that's why it's very difficult to continue or if you're very difficult to uh, maintain your fluency without practicing regularly so you have to be consistent you have to be practiced so every day you have to learn new things that will give you clarification okay so i would like to finish my video here so thanks for listening and i hope you will be practicing regularly and you will be a good speaker okay thank you goodbye